All right, well, we are at the Goodwill today. We are at the smaller of the two Goodwills in New York, um, but that has not prevented us from finding good stuff in the past. Just because it's small does not mean that there is not good stuff here. Uh, we found some really incredible things here. So we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. Cards, small cards. I'm gonna grab a small all right well Brittany was coming on a little strong there so i did have to switch over to a voiceover but it's only temporary so so don't be alarmed uh, now i am browsing through the halloween section here both for myself and for resale i have found pieces really good pieces for resale here in the past but today it was just not a day for halloween and I do move on because I spot this piece over here. I love the contrast of the colors on this piece. It's more than likely Italian Capodimonte, but unfortunately with these pieces, you can almost always find petals that are broken and such is the case here. Now down here, we've got a box full of plates and dishes. I have to check the bottom. It's just a thing and it happens all the time. It just It's like I have to turn everything over just to see. Now here we've moved into the blue. Dagny spots a vase. It's a glass blue vase. Nothing special about it really, so we leave it there on the shelf. This piece over here is made to look like an antique Chinese bowl, but on the bottom it says made in China. That's definitely not antique, that's modern. And so I leave it there on the shelf. Up here we've got some cute little puppy blenders for makeup. like the little geese here I guess they're geese and they are marked on the bottom I believe they are marked Napco I think that's what they were marked and they were really cute they were a dollar ninety nine each a dollar ninety nine each I should say and I decided to grab the little the little geese there because they were darling Now Dagny spotted this little creamer here and it was really cute. It was just looked like a little milk carton, but um, we left that there on the shelf. Now this piece right here was actually hand painted and I walked by it thinking that it was transfer, but the back, well, no, it doesn't say hand painted, but it is signed by the artist, which I found was interesting because I thought that for sure looks transfer. So now I'm looking at it closer, like, wait a second. But I believe this is either a relish or a bread tray, and usually you can tell by the length of them. Uh, Dagny spots this little angel up here. And we have bought some of those previously, but in this case, we left that one behind. Under here is a nice serving plate but it, it just looked to be a shipping nightmare. And so I left that behind. That was so cool. Now Dagny tried to pick it up. It was Ikea. It was an Ikea mushroom. And more than likely it was a garden piece because it was so incredibly heavy. It probably was meant to be put outside. And so we did leave it because of how heavy it was, but it was just really neat. Here we've got some green Delft. I always love finding green Delft. It's not worth a lot of money, but I just think it's really pretty, and I like when I find it. So I guess it's just a little ewer, but it is $2.99, and that's a pretty good price for it because I can triple my profit on that. Spotted this little vase here, and it was worth turning over, but there were no exciting marks on the bottom. Got some Halloween costumes, a fun beard and whatnot. Now we venture into the clear glass. There's not much to see in the clear glass today, if you can't tell. Now, I found this piece right here. It is an amber hobnail compote, more than likely Fenton. 
um, but I, I sometimes pick up amber, I sometimes leave it behind. This particular occasion I picked it up because it is fall and amber really plays a lot in decorating for fall and so I decided that today would be the day that I picked up the amber compact. Little ducks were cute. Now I've also spotted this little nappy dish right here and this is more of a pressed glass pattern and I also put this one in the cart. There is a turkey back there but it looks like it's missing a lid on it. Maybe it doesn't need a lid but it does have a made in China sticker on the inside so that stays there. Dagny found this really, really cool umbrella. It's definitely vintage. It's marked Italy, and it is just really neat. I found a pepper grinder. She's, she's probably winning at this point. <laughs> this thing was meant to be a t there is a name for these um, and they're just decorative wall pieces and there was actually two pieces there and it, it I forget what they're called we've got a boot on the ground twenty three dollars and twenty cents ooh those are Italian and that, uh, each but yeah these are really nice another four dollars for all super fancy. those oh. are fancy I like those you should get them Meanwhile, I'm like, look at the Tupperware. <laughs> now I do stick the Tupperware in my cart because my kids always lose our Tupperware cups. <laughs> and I let Dagny put her really cool outlet covers in my cart as well because sharing carts, that's what friends are for. Now I saw this and I wasn't sure if it was cut to clear. I, I wasn't, so I left it there. And meanwhile, the judging Santa is still there judging us. She's opening the umbrella on the veil. I like it. I'm getting that. I think that's nice. Too. And look, it has a little handle. I like it. Made in Italy. Comes with a cover. I'm getting the umbrella. Ella, 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 A. <laughs> ah, the compote is sliding. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. What is it? 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 <laughs> what is this? It's for jewelry. I would think it is. Oh, it is. There's holes. Holes. Oh, holes. Studio crystal by Golden. Ooh, that is fancy right now. It's another piece of slate. It is. That owl you got. I'm so slated out. Now for the best aisle ever. We saved it for the last. Take it all in. Let's see, let's see if we can find the stand for that piece that we uh, listed. The one with the silk. The prongs. See if the prawn base is here. The prawns. I love that we're calling them prawns. This is almost 25 years old. Um, That's vintage. Even the ribs kind of, you could say it looks intense. Oh, I know. I didn't even realize it was like by accident. Until I was like, oh, it's ripped. <laughs> oh, my God. 
almost here, and now it's time. Wait, what is this? Three pieces. Sweetheart. There's Stone Harbor. Ooh, I know somebody who oh. collects this. Now, I have already gifted this box to the individual that I am speaking of. Uh, he does collect items, souvenir items from Stone Harbor, New Jersey. And so I thought that was a really neat piece. Um, so that will not be showing up in my eBay store, just so you know. But we continue looking here on the shelves. This is really one of my favorite aisles just because you just never know what you're going to find. Look at this. And Dagny and I have some debate over what this could possibly be. And I think it's one of those things that you throw clay pigeons with, but I could be totally wrong. I'm just, I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like a torture device, to be quite honest. It's a little frightening. Thing. Phonograph, that's the word I was looking I think it's musical. Yes, look. It's a home oh, it's love, love story. How do you wind it? Oh, right here. I am one-handed. Oh, sorry, you. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> love story. That's very 70s. Ooh. Do you want it? It's so creepy. I'm not taking it. It's you or it's shelved. It's $4, no. <laughs> not for $4. Now, we go around the corner and the music picks back up again, but there's not a whole lot here in the black section, unfortunately. Now, I have scored stuff here in the past. They've got a nice set of travel pieces there that I thought could be Vera Bradley, but they definitely were not. A little robotic dog here and I remember how expensive these were when they first came out because my kids wanted one and of course a little ceramic copy of skunk is quite adorable. Now these appear to be the Campbell's soup kids. They are little mugs but they were plastic and they were in pretty rough shape. They'd obviously seen better days. They were scratched up and and not so great. I did show them to Dagny to get her opinion and her opinion was that they had seen better days. So I decided to pass on them. Now I did finally take a peek at this bowl. It just really wasn't that exciting. That's why I skipped it the first time and the second time still was not exciting. Now I've moved over into the purses. I know that I drive you guys nuts when I look at purses because there's a lot that I miss. I always just like to look just in case something jumps out at me. They have a Vera there, but I don't even look at it. And Dagny found a really neat old suitcase. I really like old suitcases, but you can only have so many old suitcases as a decoration. Now I did decide to check the artwork because the last time I was here I picked up a really cool barn painting and a lot of you had pointed out the fact that I missed one. I guess there was two of them there and so I did check to see if maybe the other one was still here but I did not see it. So somebody else must have grabbed it and that's that. This is Oh! I bought Julia one of these same keys. dollars Full of, oh I know, I bought her one of these. Full of Shopkins and I gave it to her. She lost every single one of them and like it, within five minutes and didn't care. I was like, I was like, buying Shopkins. Do you know how much those would have cost yeah, if I bought those yeah, regular? Yeah. She was not impressed. Oh, I'm impressed. Jenny, yeah. well, Jenny collects yeah. these. We have them on a piano. Well, if I would have known that, I would have given them to you instead you of a five-year-old. <laughs> oh, look, here's another one. This guy is playing tennis. 
should give this to what Eric. What song do you think it is? Does he play tennis? He plays tennis. Oh yes, Eric so plays awesome. tennis. Oh my gosh. What song do you think it is? Um, te the, the tennis song. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That's all right. Let me just scoot it over for you. <laughs> but I think that's how it goes. I've heard it before. Every day tennis. Yay. Yes. Yes, here. Let's see. Gonna hit the ball right yeah, now. you just have to wait for it. It's gonna happen. Wait for it's a us. It's a slow serve. Boom! We have contact with the ball, folks. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Set match. I'm <laughs> done. Oh. The song is made in Hong Kong. That's all you get. That's it. Made in Hong Kong. Do you want it? You need an approved, approved instruction. for instruction. You need that one. Oh. Mail. What does it say? Confident. confident. I need that one. <laughs> I'm confident. Package stamp. What is that? I'm going to start stamping everything. Preliminary. I'm going to give these to my mother. For her office. I feel like she needs it. <laughs> She'll be like, um, thanks. All right. I don't see anything I need from here. <sighs> Except for maybe this. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> That's tacky. That's tacky. <laughs> Our total here at the Goodwill today was $20. I feel like we got some good pieces. Um, I don't always buy amber glass, but with fall coming, well, it basically, wait, it is fall. It is fall. Um, <laughs> with it being fall, um, Amber really comes into to play, especially with decorating with glassware. And so I decided that today I was gonna buy some amber glassware. I decorate a lot with amber during fall and I feel like a lot of other people do too. So for just a few dollars, I decided to scoop up those amber pieces, um, but it's not something that I always buy. So that's the difference between other times when I pass by it and today when I decided, you know what, it's only a dollar, two dollars, I think I'm gonna grab it because it is fall time. So um, that comes into play a lot of the times with my decision making but um, anyway I feel like we got some good items today and I'm going to get out of here I'm going to go get some Starbucks drive 45 minutes home so I will see all of you guys tomorrow so long my family calls it my superpower it's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook